This evening, for the first time, we're hearing from someone who knew the whistleblower well, the whistleblower who revealed this country's sweeping surveillance. ABC's Bob Woodruff is in Hong Kong with new clues about what might have motivated the 29-year-old American to reveal so much. Here in Hong Kong, Edward Snowden is still hiding. And while he has not yet been charged with any crime, many here believe he's done nothing wrong. Arrest Obama! Today, protesters took to the streets. Now here in the square, there appears to be a growing number of supporters of Mr. Snowden. In fact, some here even asked the U.S. government to apologize. He's not a hero or a traitor. He's just trying to do what he feels is right. Tonight, the father of his girlfriend, Lindsay Mills, told ABC News that Snowden had very strong political beliefs and appeared frustrated over the way average Americans could be spied on by the government. Very shocked that he went this far with this, this information and uh, this whole uh, situation, but uh, I kind of understand knowing how convicted he is towards right, wrong in the American way. Now, for the first time, some of those social media giants have released their numbers. How many of their users have actually been tapped by the government? Now, Facebook has said about 10,000 of its records were requested, but pointing out that that is a tiny fraction of its one billion monthly users.